Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rinse at a time, back with my good friend, friend Stratton Brown. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How about you, Mike? So our fourth and final topic that I captured from your Instagram page is a personal pet peeve of mine. And that is social media gurus, experts, influencers, whatever the hell they're called these days, are talking about multiple streams of income, like that's the answer for everyone. And while it sounds sexy, while it looks good, I believe it's focus, 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 get good at one thing. And then after years of success, you can talk about multiple streams of income, but that's not popular. That's not sexy. So you had a video on that on your page. What do you think? I think you need to have a money problem first before you can talk about like multiple streams of income. And generally, this is my rule. And I own, I invest in e-commerce, real estate. I throw money in. I talk to someone like, hey, what cryptocurrencies do you like? He's like, I like these because of this and this. And always made money. Like, okay, I'm not throwing in serious cash. But that those are the only, and then myself. Right. Right. But as far as like people trying to get into multiple different verticals, like you're, bro, like you have to start over again. You have to start pushing that train again. You have such a big yeah. learning curve to where now, like even in our media company, like the learning curve is really, really big because it's not based off of like what I've been doing as far as like, let's say e-commerce or like all of our other stuff is real estate based. Right. Right. It is all real estate based to where it's really like, okay, this, this, this plug it there. We're good to go. We can keep making money and it stays in the vertical. Yep. If you leave the vertical and you have to learn a whole new skill, just imagine. So college should be, if college was a year that you have a year of learning and, or paying someone to help you learn mm -hmm. before you even start to make money. Yeah. You need to have an income problem. Like let's learn how to make a million dollars first. Yeah. I have a, now I'm making, or at least let's call it $500,000 first. Sure, I make sure. $500,000 a year, no matter what I'm that good. Now you can have a different, like conversation about diversifying yeah like okay i'm gonna diversify into this i'm gonna diversify into that i'm gonna diversify into other companies yeah but if you're just going like he just getting started and this is the number one thing to where i see with young men trying to get into entrepreneurship and they're doing drop shipping they're streaming they're doing wholesaling real estate they're still trying to get their real estate license and they're selling solar all at the same time yes <laughs> yeah <sighs> I see that as well. Again, and I think social media influencers are the are the problem, frankly. Most of them aren't doing what they say they're doing. They aren't profitable doing what they say they're doing. But yeah, folks, if you got to get good at something, get good at something. Yep. You know, be and the drop shipper or be solar or be whatever it is. Be good, then move. Oh, yeah. And most of these influencers i would say are own if they do say multiple streams of income it's like okay well i invest in syndications i have some money in cryptocurrencies and they probably have the same thing as me and then i'd say consulting for me is like another stream of income we have our rentals mm -hmm. and then the e-commerce stuff is so straightforward and basic it wasn't like i was going and starting another company right right when when you're going and you're trying to get started and you're doing like four different things that means you're starting four different companies jeff bezos has one company yeah right like amazon's build of like 1400 but it is one company that he stayed focused on and pushed mm -hmm. forward bill gates the same thing steve yeah. jobs right like it's one company that they've gone pushed forward perfected and kept going and then okay yes they could invest and protect their money but like i have more money than god why don't you to invest my money yeah yeah folks again different <laughs> diversification is a hot topic because um i forget his name all of a sudden warren buffett and his Pierre or his buddy, Char Charlie Munger. God, a brain fart. Charlie Munger was asked about diversification the other day. I guess this is a, 10 years ago, but I saw the video the other day. And he basically said diversification is for the, um, the know nothing investor. He's like, hey, if you don't want to know anything, then diversify. But hey, if you want to know, he's like, dude, there's been several times in my career where I had 75% or more on one investment because he did the homework. He did the work. So yep. do your thing. Diversification is not the answer. It's not the panacea for everyone, at least not in the beginning. I mean, I don't even know what else you would. I feel like I'm at the point where I will not diversify anymore. Right. Yeah. Let's we have four different companies and I'd say one of them is really outside of the realm of real estate. And the, again, the learning curve is just like, <laughs> 
right to where again, like it takes up your energy, it takes up your focus. And that's all you have to push those things forward. Mm -hmm. To where you're, again, you're just falling behind. You're hiring a new type of person. You're doing all these things. But I mean, if you're in real estate, yes, buy an e-commerce store, educate yourself, go with a good operator. Mm -hmm. And I'd say that's like our diversification. All right, we're buying crypto. We can all go read on crypto. And there's like 10 that people invest in. Right. Right. But I don't, but I don't touch stocks. I don't control them. I feel like crypto, the only reason I invest, I'm like, yeah, man, I hate the government. I hope crypto does good. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's your, it's your anti-government play. <laughs> it's my anti-government play. Like, okay, like I fuck the US dollars, just going to go to dog shit. Yeah. How can I somewhat hedge and then still make some money? And I know people have made tons of money. Like, okay, so there's an upside. Yeah. Well, like I, if I go and I strongly focus on that, What's going to happen in the other three companies? Yeah. It, like when you, especially if you don't have people in place running those companies. Exactly. Yeah. Then everything just falls to the wayside. Yeah. Again, folks, if you're getting started, you have a day job like I did, go do great work there. Don't, don't, and then build the side, build one side hustle, right? Which for me was one rental at a time. When I retired, that's the only time I started flipping after my day job went away. I didn't, I didn't flip a home, even though I could have, I could find stuff. I just wanted to keep everything. Then this, then that, then this. Yeah. Diversification. Well, so flipping's right. another business, dude. It is. Now, now okay. Well, well, we need more capital. Guess what I got to start doing? I got to start raising more cash. Exactly. Like I got to start managing contractors. The time that takes to, I was talking to a mentor of mine. I was like, bro, I, I think I'm leaving so much money on the table. Like, should I just flip more? He's like, no. Like, no. do you want to start another business? Yeah. <laughs> He was like, bro, raising capital is a full-time job. If you're going to do it the way I know you're going to turn into a maniac about it. Like you, yeah. you're going to lose focus. Yeah. Very well said. Dude, this has been a lot of fun. I'm going to keep following you on IG. And what, the, what is that again for folks? At Strat Daddy and Strat Brown on YouTube. There you go. And Strat Brown on YouTube. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm.